Welcome to today's video where we are going to study the story Mrs. Packetite's Tiger by Hector Hugh Munro. The story revolves around a hunting trip that has an unexpected end. It also introduces us to a number of colorful characters. Before we get into the story, let's learn a bit about the author. Hector Hugh Munro, popularly known by his pen name Saki, was a British writer widely known for his witty and mischievous style of writing. He is considered to be one of the greatest short story writers of all time. Amongst his famous writings we find The Interlopers, Gabriel Ernest, The Toys of Peace, The Storyteller and such others. The story is a humorous depiction of social rivalries and revolves around Mrs. Packletide and her desire to outshine her rival, Luna Bimberton. Luna Bimberton had recently been flown in an aeroplane by an Algerian aviator and was thus the centre of all public attention. Mrs. Packletide despised that and in an attempt to become the talk of the town, she decided to go on a tiger hunting expedition to India. India at that time was a British colony. In those days, tigers weren't as rare as they are today. Many British citizens used to come to India on hunting trips for pleasure and amusement. It is partly due to this practice that several animals today are facing extinction. Mrs. Packletide was no exception. She had already planned what to do with the skin of the tiger she would hunt. Extravagant parties with her as a center of all attention and praise govern her mind. She offered a thousand rupees as a reward for making all the arrangements for a tiger hunt. This amount of money was huge in those days and eventually a perfect opportunity presented itself. A tiger whose hunting was limited to tame, domestic animals due to old age was found to reside in the forests near a village. The tiger had lost all the ferocity of his youth and thus hardly presented a risk. Mrs. Packletide went hunting with Miss Mebin, who acted as a witness to the entire thing. Miss Mebin was very scrupulous when it came to spending money and often saved large amounts of money from being spent mindlessly. The author punctuates the suspense building up before the hunt with humorous insights on the characters. He describes Miss Mebin in a variety of funny ways. She was not actually nervous about the wild beast but she had a morbid dread of performing an atom more service than she had been paid for. Louisa Mebin adopted a protective elder sister attitude towards money in general, irrespective of nationality or denomination. The night of the hunt arrived. Mrs. Packletide sat on a machan or elevated platform on a tree so that she could be in a convenient spot for shooting the tiger. A goat with a loud bleat was tied nearby as a bait. Eventually, the tiger arrived. He took one look at the goat and laid down, almost as if taking a nap before eating his prey. On Miss Mabin's urge, Mrs. Packletide fired her rifle and the tiger promptly rolled over on one side and died. Almost instantly, the villagers swarmed the place in excitement and soon drums were beating in the village in celebration. Mrs. Packletide was already thinking about the parties in her honour when Miss Mebin found out that the tiger had not been shot by Miss Packletide. It had actually died from a heart failure when the bullet fired from Mrs. Packletide's gun hit the goat. However, the villagers were very unlikely to reveal this rather disappointing end as they were paid their reward. Miss Mevin was also a paid companion and so Mrs. Packletide wasn't particularly worried. She faced the glitz and glamour of the parties with a light heart and loved being the centre of all attention. Luna Bimberton, meanwhile, was seething with rage and envy upon hearing of her success. Mrs. Packletide had achieved what she had aimed for and became the talk of the town. However, the story ends with a twist. Miss Mabin was a shrewd and calculating woman who realized that Mrs. Packletide could be blackmailed as she hadn't actually killed the tiger. She understood that social fame meant everything to her. 
she would eagerly agree to her demands in return for maintaining the false story. Mrs. Packletide did exactly that, agreeing to pay for Miss Maven's dream house near Darking. The story brilliantly explores human traits and social themes by using humor. Mrs. Packletide embodies the latent desire of affluent, high-class women to achieve popularity and social fame. In a clever and funny way, Saki highlights how such a desire can bring trouble. That is all for today. We shall have a quick recap of the main features of the story and try to answer a few questions from it over the next two videos.